Governor Steve Bullock is on the presidential campaign trail tonight. Bullock is in Iowa making his first campaign stops outside Montana since announcing his bid for president. MGM's chief political reporter Mike Dennison is following the governor. He joins us live from Des Moines. Mike. Hello, Melissa. We're here in Des Moines. This is the Governor Bullock's first campaign stop on his first campaign as a presidential candidate in Iowa. Tonight, we're going to start by telling you about how Iowa occupies such a unique place in helping America choose its next president. Hey, how's everybody doing? Since the first of this year, Democratic presidential candidates have held more than 400 individual appearances in the state. And the reason they're flooding the state? The Iowa caucuses next February, the first state presidential nominating contest in the country for 2020. But as one of Iowa's top political reporters explains, a caucus is an unusual process that requires some local knowledge and strategy. This is a caucus. It's not a primary. It's very different. So organizing matters a ton. Having staff on the ground who knows this process matters. So that's going to be really important for someone like Governor Bullock. Caucus voters show up and declare their allegiance in person next February, and organizers must know how to manage several rounds of voting during the process that evening. The Bullock has some of that organization. He has staff on the ground, and he's already visited the state several times. And on Thursday, he got the endorsement of Iowa Democratic Attorney General Tom Miller. Um, Tom Miller um, was known for endorsing Barack Obama really early. That gave him a lot of credibility in this state, kind of gave him a foothold here before people really knew who he was. To have him being kind of his Sherpa across Iowa really matters. Bannon Steele of the Register says the caucus is an opportunity for lesser known candidates to do well, especially if they specialize in meeting voters one on one in smaller groups, like the itinerary that Bullock is embarking on this week through eastern Iowa. This is the fight of our time. It's been the fight of my career. We talked to several Bullock supporters in Iowa who echoed this strategy, saying Bullock has been effective pitching himself as a uniting force in a divided country. So, so it looks good on paper for Governor Bullock, but how will that play out on the national stage? That's the question he's trying to answer by focusing on the smaller stage here in Iowa. Back to you in the studio, Melissa.